How's it going YouTube? This is Cinco, and uh, as I promised, um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial uh, for the gun outline effect. Um, but the principle of this uh, tutorial you'll be able to use for a lot more uh, a lot more things. Uh, for instance, the ring of fire. Um, I'm sure you've seen on a lot of people's videos. Sometimes you'll see it and uh, it'll be very dull, like they just change the opacity. Um, but I'll show you how to do it to where... Um, you can have it very bright and vibrant. You'll be able to use the same technique for the gun outline, uh, which is called keying. And basically, it's removing uh, one image uh, or one object from an image or a video or whatever without having to keyframe it. And then you can insert it in another video or onto another image, uh, whatever, uh, whatever you want to do. So. What we're going to do is we're going to start in Premiere Pro. Some of you may be using Sony Vegas. You'll also be able to do this in Sony Vegas. I think you'll just use uh, Chroma Keyer, uh, but you'll the same principles, the same um, same idea. So, um, also what we're going to do is uh, let me show you first off what, what we're going to be learning here, and this is from my last episode here. Sorry, got a little loud there. Let me fast forward it. And um, so basically I have my own background and then I have the gun come in and you've got these crazy colors and stuff like that. And then it transitions into the uh, uh, into the actual weapon. So it's a cool, uh, cool technique. You can do a lot with it. Um, and just knowing how to do this is uh, a very useful tool to have. Um, so okay, so we'll start out with some intro footage. I just have some high rise here. We'll put that in our main layer if it'll let me. There we go. And then uh, black bar, we don't necessarily need to worry about that for now. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe I can do another tutorial. Anything you guys want to see in the future, just post a comment and uh, if you see something interesting in my videos or whatever. Um, okay, so we have our background footage and uh, and so now what we're going to need is our keying footage, which I went into a uh, terminal and got this footage and basically you just want to find a solid color that you can hold your weapon up to. So I just went into terminal and uh, ran up to the wall over here and put it up and it's it's solid white. So see, so now we can remove all this white and just have the gun. You need to have a solid color. I think that you can do it on a state in the blue sky, but you want to create contrast between what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. So now, so we're going to pull the white and make this transparent so we can just lay it over the top of our background. Okay, so what we'll do now is bring in the keying footage and if you guys uh, are having trouble with this or whatever and you need the footage um, just post a comment maybe I can upload it to Zshare or something like that so you guys can just have this or you can just go into terminal with your PVR or whatever and uh, and do it yourself and use your own weapons and stuff like that I, I like using no camo just because you don't get the extra lines when we add the effect later um, okay so what we're gonna do is I already have a, a part cut out that I want um, and you're going to lay it over the top of your background. So as you can see now, you can't see the background anymore. Okay. So what we're going to do is, and this right here, this you can only do if you purchased uh, Adobe Production Premium or one of the production suites. Uh, you, you can't have this if, if it's torrented. So what you'll have to do is just uh, get the, f the background footage looking the way you want to, then render it out, and then load it into... Uh, uh, After Effects, but what I'm going to do is I can right click on it and then replace with After Effects composition. And what this does is it it takes the clip into After Effects and then it allows any changes that I make in After Effects transfer over to Premiere Pro. So here's the footage. We'll get rid of the black bar for this because it'll cause problems for this. So we'll just stretch that out a bit. And okay, so now we have this the gun coming in on the solid white background. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we're, with our layer selected, we're going to go to Effect, Keying, and Linear Color Key. And now there's some other ones here you can use. If you were doing something a little more complicated, uh, like pulling a person from a green screen, you may want to use something like Key Light. Um, it, it lets you get a lot more um, technical and precise with the effect. This Linear Color Key is just a very basic color keyer. And um, so what you're going to do now, you'll have this little uh, effect window pop up. You're going to want to choose the eyedropper from the key color. So you select that, and then you're going to choose the color. And since we have a solid background, it really doesn't matter where we choose it. But if you're choosing on something that had maybe uneven lighting or something like that, you'd want to select a spot close to the uh, object you want to keep. So, okay, so now 
we've pulled the white and this is completely transparent. So we go back to Premiere Pro and see now we have the gun sitting over the background, which looks nice uh, in and of itself. But we're going to go a step further and uh, and do some stuff to this. So as you can see, there's this little white uh, spill here from the white background. So if you want to get rid of that, you're going to you're going to go Effect Matte Matte Choker. All right, and that right there already took care of that white line. Um, so we we don't need to go any further than that for this tutorial. But you can adjust this accordingly um, and get it looking the way you want it. Softness, uh, choke, stuff like that. It's it's a it's nice. But you want to be very liberal, I guess, with this. Um, you can really destroy a destroy a mat with this. And a mat, by the way, is basically what you're keeping and what you're getting rid of on a mat black would be what you're getting rid of and white would be what's going to stay so if we were to look at the mat of this the gun would be white the background would be black and then when we lay it over the top uh... then you know we would have this so um, you see a hole right here that's going to be transparent and that's because there was a white reflection and when we pulled the white it removed the white from the reflection for this it doesn't really matter um, if you guys are curious on how to get rid of that and what you can do about it post some comments maybe I can do a tutorial it's it's fairly basic it does take a little bit of work but it's pretty basic um, okay so now what we're gonna do is once we have this is we're gonna type in this bar here I already have it find edges okay find the edges and then you'll just drag that over the top and then you get this nice effect here uh... which which looks nice so you can you know uh... you know just use that if you wanted but what we're gonna do is now if you want to change the colors up a bit you're gonna go to effect color correction cc toner alright so that uh... that changes uh... you can you can adjust the highlights midtones and shadows and make them whatever colors you want so you can you know do dark red whatever you know blue anything and then uh... see so that would look good over the top of uh... of whatever you know that looks nice but you can see there's those transparent spots and stuff um, that that's that mainly comes from the matte choker or from the uh, the keying when it'll put if there's white reflection so that's why you want to try to select a background that um, that doesn't have any colors that are on what you want to keep otherwise you'll have to do some work later to to clean that up but for this this will work just fine um, and that's and that's that guys um, I do have one more thing I'd like to show you like I was saying with the ring of fire you can use this same technique. Um, what you're going to do is just again get your footage set up and you can do this in Sony Vegas you can also even do it in Premiere Pro it's just uh, the the effects you can't get as uh, personalized or you know yeah you can't personalize them as much I guess um, you know you can't uh, so so anyways um, but again this will work the same way um, you'll just have to render it out if if you don't have the dynamic link but you'll just do the exact same thing effect uh, keying and then you you know select one of these again that one works just fine uh, and then you have your fire and you can you know you can adjust the tolerance and stuff like that and the tolerance is basically going to be colors that um it's going to pull that are similar to the one you selected the higher the tolerance the more color the more similar colors it's going to pull so uh see so you up the tolerance you lose you lose quite a bit so you you know you got to be careful with that stuff you can pull out a lot of stuff uh that you don't want to so that's that and uh see now you have the the fire effect that doesn't look so dull you'll have to key this out of course uh make a little or not key it out i'm sorry um like roto it out make a mask and just get rid of it but that's not a big deal it's not moving or anything but see so now you don't have that dull looking flame that you see in a lot of people's videos so uh, that's it, guys. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please post a comment, rate it. Um, if you guys want to see more of these, I'll be happy to do them. Uh, just you know, send me a private message or whatever, and uh, uh, what you want to see, and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, thanks a lot, guys.